Hamid says, I'm a teenager and I've been getting overwhelmed with sexual thoughts. What do I do because I'm afraid it will lead to sinful things? Well, Hamid, may Allah help you. You live in difficult times indeed. And lowering your gaze has not been more difficult than today. Where you have social media, when you have TV screens everywhere, when you have people not abiding by the proper attire, when you have TV, newspapers, magazines, social media, YouTube, Snapchat, Instagram, you name it, it's always there. So it is difficult, but whenever Allah guides someone, then he has prospered and he's guided. So in order to get Allah's guidance, you have to help yourself first. One, by making a lot of dua. So if you look at the Prophet's life, the vast majority of his dua would be revolving on seeking Allah's guidance to be steadfast. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O turner of hearts, make my heart steadfast on your religion. Make a lot of dua. Because only Allah can help you. Only Allah can make you steadfast. Make dua in sujood between adhan and iqamah in the last third of the night. That Allah would protect you. Secondly, take the necessary means to block these thoughts from invading your heart. And that is, one, by lowering your gaze. Two, by cutting and blocking all means that would introduce such images. Because these sexual desires and thoughts only creep in when you open your heart through looking at haram things. So the more haram you look at, the more corrupt your heart is and the thoughts would reproduce. Block the means. Lower your gaze. Do not get involved with looking at beautiful women, pornography, watching movies, soap operas, all of this is haram. Even watching the news, if the news anchor is a beautiful woman or you will see beautiful images here or there, block it. You have to fight these desires and thoughts that you get. So you do not contemplate and ponder upon them. You have to try and fast every alternate day so that fasting would give you a boost of Iman and would help you to lower your gaze as the Prophet ﷺ had instructed the youth to do. And finally, these are just random thoughts. You have to preoccupy yourself with the good things. When you Surround yourself 24-7 with righteous Muslims who would help you to attend lectures, to attend circles of knowledge, to memorize the Quran, to revise the Quran, to go and do beneficial and good things. This would narrow down the passages of the devil, of shaitan, of these uh, uh, desires and thoughts from infesting in your head. So by occupying yourself with righteous good things, you would eliminate the room for bad thoughts and desires to come in. And I pray to Allah Azza wa that he protects you and all the youth from falling under such thoughts and to protect you from haram by engaging in halal activities and getting married as soon as possible.